Sure, birds and bees are everywhere, but it seems like in California, mating rituals are a pillar of the economy. All the love scenes that fill the big screen and the tabloids and those titles that don't appear on your hotel bill. And then there are all the elephant seals getting busy on the beach. Yes, this fascinating and brutal display of animal love draws hordes of wide-eyed tourists to California shores every year. So ABC's own seal curious Nick Watt went for a peek. If you drive down the beautiful coast of central California at the right time of year, you're in for a big surprise. You might spot some ugly, prehistoric-looking beasts sunning themselves and having sex. Año Nuevo State Park in midwinter draws frisky elephant seals like Daytona Beach draws college kids in spring. In November, the dudes start arriving and fighting. Those that win all the fights end up being alpha bulls. The alpha bulls rule harems of maybe 50 female seals. The truly vanquished males retreat to what's now known as Loser's Beach. The beaten but unbowed, known as sneaker bulls, loiter on the fringes of the harems, hoping to see some mating action when the alpha bull is distracted. And humans flock to gawp. Let's see if we can find an alpha bull. At this bizarre ritual. What sort of reactions do you get from people who come here and see <laughs> these monsters? <laughs> Very good question. We get everything from, oh, they are the ugliest thing I've ever seen, to I really want to take one home. Mother seals also give birth here on the sand, and there follows 28 days of intensive suckling on 55% fat milk. Pups grow from 60 pounds to 300 pounds, from the size of a seventh grader to the size of a linebacker in less than a month. And then the pups are abandoned to fend for themselves. Nobody's shown them how to survive. They instinctively go to the ocean and begin to hunt. And instinctively, those pups always return to mate and molt on the same beach. There really are very few places where you can go and see an animal that does a big chunk of its life right in front of you. So this is a gold mine for scientists who, with the help of some hardware store epoxy, are attaching all sorts of electronic data gathering devices to these beasts of the ocean. These animals are sitting on the beach sleeping all the time. But then when we've got our records of what they do at sea, we went, okay, they deserve that sleep. 20 minutes underwater, two, three minutes on the surface for eight months. They don't stop. Not so long ago, mankind nearly hunted these bizarre creatures out of existence. Uh, by 1896, they thought they were extinct. And there was a scientific expedition that went, landed on Guadalupe Island off Mexico. And they found 12 animals on the beach. And they shot all 12 of them. Fortunately, not all the elephant seals were on the beach that day. The Mexican government led the conservation charge and somehow elephant seals bounced back. One male could have been the father of all the all northern elephant seals that exist today. These animals have been on Earth for maybe three million years, but we've only been studying them for 40 years. We only just found out these seemingly ungainly lumps swim as far out as the international dateline and dive as deep as a mile below the surface. It's a really wonderful animal because there's so many aspects from human physiology and medicine to just basic understanding of how an animal dives and handles pressure. Elephant seals stop breathing when they sleep. Weird. And that's helping in our study of human sleep apnea. And they can explore remote ocean depths, can take those electronic sensors to places we have never been. Are they at all lovable? I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> the answer is yes, if you're an elephant seal aficionado. And their evolutionary cycle has been such that even as the world has evolved, they are continuing on. And that might be their biggest asset. Elephant seals have been doing this for millennia. They could be our canaries in the mineshaft, our 5,000-pound beasts in the deep sea, giving us an insight we need into the health of our planet. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline at the Año Nuevo State Park, California.